How's it going guys? It is me, Chris here, and once again today I have another Final Cut Pro 10 quick tip video for you. So a lot of people have been asking me about keyboard shortcuts and if they're still there in the new program, and I'm happy to tell you that there are. And along with that, we also have several multi-touch gestures. So if you guys have a Magic Trackpad or your MacBook has a trackpad, you can do these gestures. So as you can see by the chart next to me, uh, you can see exactly what these gestures are and uh, you know what exactly they do. So now let's jump over to the screencast. I'll kind of show you a little bit more about where you can learn about uh, keyboard shortcuts as well as the gestures. So I'm up in uh, Final Cut Pro right now, and as you can see, I just have my project going down here. Uh, it was my recent stop motion video. So anyways, what you're going to want to do if you want to look at different keyboard shortcuts, you can just go up to the help menu and uh, up here at the top and then scroll down to keyboard shortcuts. Simple as this, guys. And... Um, you can see this is just going to pop up here and you, as you can see we have keyboard shortcuts and multi-touch gestures overview now from here there's broke the these are broken up into three different categories we have standard keyboard shortcuts where you can just click on this and scroll through all of the standard things that uh, come preloaded in Final Cut so um, you can just see all the different categories in here so let's say for instance down here we have effects and if you scroll back up to the top, there's application, editing, all that kind of stuff. So that's all in the help menu under standboard, standard keyboard shortcuts. Then second, as you guys can see, this is the same chart that I just showed you with all the multi-touch gestures on it. So that's very helpful in case you guys forget that. You don't have to always come back to my video and uh, check that out. And then finally, we have custom keyboard shortcuts. Now this is where I was very impressed. So um, you can go in here and see all of these different things so let me actually just open up um, you can come up here into Final Cut Pro click that and then scroll down to uh, commands yeah commands and then customize now as you guys can see this comes up with the full keyboard and based on the different key that you select like let's say we're doing the F key uh, you can see all the different things that have already been made and all the commands rather so you can do like uh, just control is find, control F is find, and uh, you know all that different stuff. All that different stuff. So if you're somebody who really wants to customize your keyboard sh shortcuts, you can do so in this menu. So you can just go select a different letter, and you know whatever really works with your workflow, you can customize it accordingly. So for me, I'm not a huge user of uh, of um keyboard shortcuts but I do use them from time to time and for several basic uh, utilities so I'm not gonna save any of these here I just like to use the basic ones but some of you guys were asking about it so this is just how in case you guys forget just open up the help menu go to um, Final Cut Pro 10 uh, keyboard shortcuts and you will be good to go so I hope this video helped you guys out and if you guys have not picked up Final Cut Pro 10 yet I highly suggest you do so and uh, yeah it's a great program so I hope you enjoy Thanks guys, take care. All right, everybody, so that's the main video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, if you haven't done so already, please check out my last two videos that I uploaded yesterday and the day before that. And uh, as you guys can see, we have links right up here. So go ahead and click on either of those and uh, you know, tell me what you guys think. Anyways, thank you very much for watching once again. And please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.